morning everyone hope you're all doing well i've just come into the kitchen to grab myself some breakfast i've got my overnight oats which i made yesterday which is so good i love when i've made overnight oats it's such an easy breakfast in the morning also just gonna pop the kettle on ready to make some green tea I'm trying to do this one-handed actually going okay at the moment i don't want to jinx it and speak too soon okay i think that's enough water managed to actually fill up the kettle with one hand which is really good and for the moment at least it's not currently raining which is good although i think it is supposed to start up again later like midday kind of time hopefully it won't be too bad there does seem to be a little bit of sunlight coming through as well still pretty cloudy though so not the best day and i've got work in a couple of hours time well, just less than a couple of hours. It's currently 29. I've got to leave in about an hour and a half. So, yeah, I got fairly early this morning. The dogs, I got up, like, around 8-ish, and the dogs were just barking so much this morning. I just woke up, and I was like, you know what? I might as well just get up. And that is what I have done. Right, I'm going to close that cupboard and grab my own now. There's actually currently a little bit of sun coming through the window, which is great, but it probably won't last long. Currently, oh, he's just stopped. Bobby was just scratching himself over there with Bailey still on that side. I was editing yesterday's vlog, and literally, if you look, they're doing exactly the same on here as they're doing now. That was so weird, and I had my computer on my lap here, so I literally had it going on here. <laughs> And in real life too. I've just made it back home from work and it's turned into such a horrible day. Literally on the way back home now, the rain came down so heavy and going on like the motorway as well was pretty scary. And like, because of the rain and stuff on the side mirrors of the car, you couldn't really see either, which was great. But I've made it back okay, which is fine. Walking to the car uh, from work, it was only raining a bit. I was like, oh, okay, this isn't too bad. As soon as I got in, it started to chuck it down. So at least I made it to the car at that point. But it wasn't nice for driving along in. And I think now, I'm going to go make myself a nice warming butternut squash and carrot soup for lunch. Because it's definitely a soup kind of weather. I've never made butternut squash and carrot soup. So I'm going to give it a go. And I feel like that should be a nice warming, wintry kind of soup to have on a day like this. I've got my squash soup cooking up in here, so I cut up some squash and then also a couple of carrots and I've just covered them with water to boil and then I've added in some paprika, cumin and then also a little bit of cinnamon so I'm kind of just going along with it as I've never made this before I'm just sort of combining a number of different recipes together and different spices that they use and stuff so hopefully this will work out well I'm just going to leave that to boil for about another five minutes or so just so that the veg is like really nice and soft. I'm going to blend that up and then I'll see how thick it is. And if it's quite thick, I'm going to add a bit of almond milk, I think, to like make it a bit creamier. And I've got my finished soup. This does actually smell quite good and it looks quite nice and thick, which is how I like it. I've literally just been sat at the din like dining table after having my lunch for a good 20-30 minutes playing Temple Run. I remember when everyone used to have that game and I haven't played it in years. And I don't think I even had downloaded it on my phone that I had before this one. So I haven't played it in at least a good two years because I've had that phone in two years and I re-downloaded it the other day on here. And I've forgotten like how addictive it is. It's just one of those games that's really frustrating when you crash into whatever and your person dies kind of thing. You just sit there replaying it over and over again. I just, I remember the days when literally every single person had that and I got really good at it. But now my skills on it aren't, aren't so good anymore. But it's so easy just to get addicted to it. And I've been sat there for so long and I looked up and I was like... It's already nearly four o'clock. What am I doing? Still sat here, literally just had my lunch. Like, I kind of need to get on with the day. Although, to be fair, this weather's just not making me want to do anything. I was thinking of maybe filming now, maybe not. I think I might do filming tomorrow. I'm gonna have like a productive filming day tomorrow, I think, because with the weather being like this, I think we're going to have a home roast tomorrow instead of going out because it doesn't really inspire you to want to leave the house and go out for a roast in the middle of the day when the weather's like this. So I think we're going to have a home day 
nice chilled home Sundays. So I can do some filming tomorrow. I do need to have a shower and wash my hair though. So I'll do that now and then get all my hair straightened and sorted so that at least tomorrow I can get straight into filming and not have to deal with trying to sort my hair out because it does take quite a bit of effort when I wash it. It's always such a big task, but it needs to be done. So I'm gonna do that now and at least feel like I've done some kind of task that I need to do. But yeah, just thought as well, I'm gonna check my computer quickly because so weird last night in the middle of the night my iMac screen it must have been updating then during the night it always updates at night it's really weird but I forgot I'd left it on and then halfway through the night last night something really bright light shone and it woke me up and I was like what is that and then I looked over my computer screen had come on but it was just on like the login page and I was like what is going on I just rolled back over and went to sleep but I was so confused because there was suddenly this bright light out of nowhere and I forgot I left my computer on but it looks like it's been updated or something. I completely forgot about that. I'm gonna see, yeah it's got like the setting up your Mac thing. Okay so it must be doing some update. I don't know why I always choose to do it at night but at least it wasn't doing it as I was trying to get to bed because that's normally the case that happens and then it's like I might as well wait for it to finish before I go to sleep but at least this time I have Still need to catch up with some more of Survival of the Fittest. I think I've seen online who won though, which is so annoying. But it wasn't like a definite thing. It was someone like, oh, I think this this won over that. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. It might not be true, but still need to catch up with that. I might do that in a bit, actually, once I've had a shower. But it's just so cold as well that I don't really want to get undressed and have to have a shower either. So... Ugh, it's just one of those days. I literally just did that thing where I spent way longer in the shower than I need to because it's just too cold to get out that I literally ended up spending double the amount of time in there. I think I was probably in there for like a good 25, 30 minutes and normally I'm gonna turn this fix the window lighting in the background. Um, oh, it's still raining as well outside. Normally it takes me like 10, 15 minutes to wash my hair but I stood there for ages just not even washing my hair like it was washed but just couldn't bring myself to get out and then walking out here now it seems so cold compared to the bathroom so I'm gonna head back towards the bathroom close my arm on it and get like dry and straighten my hair although the mirror's kind of steamed up right now and it's still very steamy in here but at least that does mean that it's nice and warm finally got my hair all straightened and sorted at like what time is it? it's 25 past five already see that's why i hate washing my hair it's such a long process and it takes me forever but it's finally done so that's all good I'm starting to drizzle outside although i'm really hoping i think my dad wait yeah his car's not on the drive so i think he's gone out with the puppies right now taking them for a walk because i mean it's not raining too bad right now but I mean, it's a good opportunity for me and my mum to take over the TV and catch up with some survival of the fittest. I'm hoping is what we can do. Although I really need to go grab some water first because my mouth is like so dry. I think it's from the heat of like the hair dry and the straighteners and everything. I now feel like really dried out. Um, do I need to take anything else down with me? I don't think so. Um, so yeah, and hopefully there's no football on today because I feel like the last few weekends for like, well, for like a month or so or two even, it's literally just been, am I in focus? There we go. Literally just been football every weekend. So I'm hoping there's none on today. And do you want to have a catch up of Survival of the Fittest? Yes. Might as well while no one else. What are you doing? Uh, my mum's looking at places for LA. Hopefully we'll be going there. But I think she's been looking at hotels and things all day, so I'm kind of getting a bit bored of that one. Have you found anywhere at all? Have you looked at like Airbnbs and stuff at all? Or? That could be another option. If you have any recommendations of hotels in LA that are like beach, which beach to which, stay at? Which beach? Okay, which beach to stay at? We were originally thinking of staying somewhere near the beach so we can sort of have like a beach holiday and then travel into central LA and see everything there as well. So if you have any recommendations of which beach or which hotel along a beach somewhere to stay in, that's like reasonably priced but like a nice kind of decent hotel as well. 
Let me know, it's where the TV's on, pretty bad. Oh look, it's Amazing Holidays on TV as well. Maybe they'll give you some inspo, although that doesn't look like LA. Uh, right, I need to go grab, sorry. Oh, uh, they're going to some nice island somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Looks like nice beaches and sea though, wherever it is. Oh, at least we've got a fire kind of going. It's died down a bit, but when my dad gets back, he can get that going again. Okay, I need to actually grab my water now because I am feeling very thirsty currently. And at least it doesn't look like there's any football on. Also, just realised Take Me Out's no longer on. Last week was the last episode. Like, I kind of thought it was when we were watching it because they were showing all the dates from that week as like they normally show the dates the following week for the pairs that they've paired up that week this this sounds really confusing if you've watched it then you'll hopefully know what i'm on about but they showed all of them last week so it's not on this week and the voice is on later than usual as well which i don't understand because normally it was take me out before the voice so you thought if anything it'd be on earlier than normal but it does mean that we've got a good chance to catch up with so i've looked at this maybe even finished it although i don't know no we've got like four episodes to watch i think and they're like an hour each so maybe not all of them we might get through two or three though hopefully oh, you're damp and smelly bales oh thanks for the kiss thanks for the kiss Are you watching survival of the with us hey Are you watching it oh you fell asleep mm. Made it to the semi-final of Survival of the Fittest. I think we will end up watching them. What time is it? Yeah, it's 25 to 8. We'll have time for the final tonight as oh, well. The final, the tonight. No, it was on yeah, last was on night. Last night. Oh, so we'll have time to catch up with that as well, I think. Because the voice isn't on until half nine. Just scared. I don't know who's going to win at the moment. Although it's a team. I was thinking originally it was going to be like one or two individuals. But no, it's a team who wins. So that's why it's important to just stay a team player though. If you've got... One puppy this side as well, and one puppy this side. Yeah, oh, kiss, thank you. Oh, okay, a bit too enthusiastic. A bit too enthusiastic, oh, baby. You have a kiss with me, Bob. Mm, aww. Nice you okay? You can have one too. You don't want to give kisses? Oh, maybe a little one. What you got there, Bob? You got the ball. What you got? Your toys. Don't get such a playful pooch. He actually is. Way! Oh, not on my head though, please. Oh, oh, okay. I kind of need the loo as well. I wouldn't stand on my belly. Oh, <laughs> I've got dog on me with daddy rope. Oh, oh, I'm stuck under you, Bob. Oh, oh Bob, where's the rope? Oh, monkey. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's disgusting. It as is well. it's disgusting. Like it's been out in the mud. And then I've got it on my head. <laughs> so, oh wait, hang on, it's a bit dark here. Um, let me go in to my room and turn the light on. There we go, that's better. Can actually see what's going on now. Managed to watch the Survival of the Fittest final in the end. And very happy with the end result and who won. I'm not going to say which team won or anything because some of you might be watching it and not have caught up yet or anything. So I'm not going to give you any spoilers. But all I'm going to say is I'm very happy with who won. And I'm glad I didn't see it on social media in the end because what I saw earlier on social media was like, I think mm, this team won, but I hope it's this one. And I was like, oh no, I think I've kind of found out. But it's the opposite one to what I saw. So... I wasn't expecting it to go the way that it did, but it went the way that I was hoping, so I'm happy about that. Also just been watching the voice out as well. But I'm so tired, it's like 11 o'clock. I'm just so oh, sleepy. I'm gonna turn my computer off tonight so that it doesn't start doing updates in the middle of the night and waking, waking me up. I'm gonna turn that off now while I think about it. And I'm also just gonna get my pajamas on now go brush my teeth, get into bed. I was planning on um, putting my pajamas on one of the breaks during the voice, but that just didn't happen. I just couldn't be bothered to move off the sofa. So I'm gonna do it now, but I did come up to put the heating on actually quickly at one point. So at least it's warm up here now. 
and yeah i'm gonna get to sleep so i'll end this vlog here i hope you've had a lovely sunday because it's sunday for you watching this so i hope you've had a nice chilled relaxing day the way sunday should be spent be sure to smash thumbs up if you did enjoy this vlog click the little red subscribe button down below we also just hit like a couple of hours ago on my main channel we hit 680 subscribers which is amazing so thank you so much we're getting so close to 700 now which is just crazy like uh, thank you thank you so 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 much if you've subscribed over there honestly i can't even tell you how much that means to me it's incredible it's just so nice when you put in so much work and effort into like making my videos and stuff and then to see it paying off like that is just so rewarding it's so amazing like that so oh also speaking of main channel new video would have gone live an hour ago for you watching this head over there check it out i did a I followed a mm, makeup tutorial video and I went for one of Zoe's makeup tutorials so if you want to see how that turned out and if it was a success or if it's a fail head over to my main channel check out that video it'll be linked down below as my previous video and yeah I hope you enjoy that and I will be sure to see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog. Night!